let's delete expired or inactive subscriptions on your iPhone. Now, if you have a subscription and you've canceled it and you rather it not show up on your iPhone, on your app store, I'm gonna walk you through some options you have to completely remove that from your device. Now, let's just open up the settings here and we will tap on our name at the very top. And then you can see the fourth option is subscriptions. I can tap on that. And you'll see I have two different subscriptions here that are expired. And one is this weather high def and smart cleaner. You can see both are expired. If I wanted to delete one of these, I can tap on it and you can see there is no delete option to fully delete it from my device. Now you have three different options here to remove it. One, it's not a great option, is wait a year. So it takes an entire year for Apple to decide that they want to remove that from your device. That's how long they'll keep an inactive subscription on your phone. The second option that you have is to go back and just scroll down and hit sign out. So if you sign out of your Apple ID, that you have that subscription, then of course it won't be associated with your account anymore. It won't show up on your app store or anything like that. But of course, then you'll lose access to all these other things on here. So that's an okay option. Your last option is just to go back again and tap on screen time. And then turn on screen time here and we'll turn it on and say, this is my phone. Now, for our screen time, we can tap on app limits here. And all you have to do is tap add limit. You're gonna to have to enter in a password. And on here, we will just go to not all apps. I forget where they put this. Maybe in other uh, utilities. There it is, app store. And then hit next. And you want to set it to one minute. And then you want to limit the use of that for one minute. So just hit add here. And now you can see the limit of App Store is one minute each day. After that, you'll have to enter in a screen time password. So this prevents anybody from being able to access your App Store to see any of those inactive subscriptions. So again, not perfect because there's no actual way to delete that inactive subscription, but you have some options to potentially hide it or make it seem like you've never uh, you know, subscribed to that app in the past or something like that. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time today and I'll see you on the next one.